The next grammar point is present habitual tense. It is also called present imperfective tense. I'll be using the term habitual tense or habitual participle, but keep in mind the terms habitual and imperfective are synonyms in this case. The present habitual tense in Hindi is formed with the habitual participle and the helping verb hona in present tense. It can be translated into English with a simple present tense such as I play, you play, he, she plays, etc. Before we learn how to make the present habitual tense, let's learn how to make the habitual participle. The habitual participle is formed by adding the suffix ta to the root of the verb. The suffix ta changes according to number and gender. As you can guess, ta is for masculine singular, te is for masculine plural, and ti is for feminine singular and plural. Let's take some examples to understand the formation of the habitual participle. Here you have the verb khelna to play. The root of the verb is khel, and to make the participle, you just add the suffix ta. So khelta, khelta is habitual participle for masculine singular. Khelte is for masculine plural and for feminine singular and plural it is khelti. Let's take the verb ana. Ana means to come, the root is a. You add ta suffix to make the masculine singular habitual participle ata. Masculine plural is ate and the feminine singular and plural is ati. The verb sona to sleep. The masculine singular habitual participle is sota. The masculine plural is sote and feminine singular and plural is soti. So here is the formula how to make the habitual participle. Just add to the verb root the ending ta, te, ti depending on the number and gender. Let's now learn the present habitual tense. The present habitual tense expresses a habitual or a general action. It is similar to English simple present tense such as I go, he plays, they do, etc. The present habitual tense is formed with the habitual participle of the main verb and the present tense form of the helping verb hona. Here we will take the verb khelna to play and conjugate it to all the forms, go through all the forms. The first person singular form is mai khelta hu, I play. It's a masculine form, that means a boy says mai khelta hu. A girl would say mai khelti hu. You can see here the participle changes according to the gender of the subject. If the subject is masculine, if the person uttering the sentence belongs to the masculine gender, he would say, Mai khelta hu, I play. And if the person uttering the sentence belongs to a feminine gender, she would say, Mai khelti hu. The only distinction between the two sentences is the choice of the participle, masculine or feminine, khelta or khelti. For the second person singular, Tu khelta hai, you play for masculine subject. Tu khelti hai, for feminine subject. As I said in earlier grammar points, the students should avoid this form. It is an extremely informal and it often sounds rude if you use this form. For the third person, wo ye khelta hai, he plays, and wo ye khelti hai, she plays. So you can see here that the present habitual tense is a gender sensitive. It has different form for masculine gender and different for feminine. Let's now take the plural forms. We play in Hindi would be hum khelte hain for masculine subject. And if the subject is feminine, then hum khelti hain. A group of boys would say hum khelte hain. A group of girls would say hum khelti hain. A mixed gender group would take the masculine plural form. In these sentences, you can see that the plural form of the participle khelte and khelti are used. And the helping verb is also in the plural form hain. Let's take the second person plural forms. As I mentioned in the previous grammar points, Hindi has two forms for second person plural, tum and aap. Tum is informal but acceptable and aap is formal form. You can use tum with friends and close relatives. For tum, the present habitual form is tum khelte ho for masculine subject and tum khelti ho for feminine subject. The English translation will be you play. For aap, Aap khelte hain for masculine plural and aap khelti hain for feminine plural form. The translation will again be you play. Hindi has three forms for second person, tu, tum and aap and all three have different forms. All of them will be translated into English with only one form, you play. And finally for the third person plural form, they play in English would be ye, ve khelte hain for masculine subject, 
एंड ये वे खेलती हैं फॉर फैमिन सब्जेक्ट्स लेट्स नॉट टेक सम एग्जाम्पल सेंटेंसेस मैं दिल्ली में रहता हूं आई लिव इन डेली द वर्क हेयर इज रहना एंड इट मीन्स टू लिव द सब्जेक्ट हेयर इज मै इट्स अ मास्कुल सब्जेक्ट हेयर द पर्सन से सेंटेंस इज अ मैन दैट्स वाई इट इज अ मास्कुल फॉर्म हम क्रिकेट खेलते हैं वी प्ले क्रिकेट द वर्ब हेयर इज खेलना टू प्ले एंड द पार्टिसिपल फॉर्म इज प्रूवल बिकॉज द सब्जेक्ट इज हम वी द प्रूवल सब्जेक्ट रीता कॉलेज में पढ़ती है रीता स्टडीज इन कॉलेज रीता इज द गर्ल दैट्स वाई पढ़ती है द फैमिल पार्टिसिपल ऑफ द वर्ब पढ़ना टू स्टडी वो स्कूल जाती है शी गोज टू स्कूल द सब्जेक्ट इन द हिंदी सेंटेंस इज वो विच इज फैमिल इन हेयर वी कैन सी इट फ्रॉम द पार्टिसिपल जाती वो स्कूल जाती है शी गोज टू स्कूल लड़के दस बजे सोते हैं द बॉय स्लीप एट टेन ओ क्लॉक द लास्ट सेंटेंस सविता और सुनीता कैंटीन में खाती हैं सविता एंड सुनीता इट इन स्कूल कैफेटेरिया सविता एंड सुनीता आर गर्ल्स सो द सेंटेंस विल टेक फैमिल प्लूरल फॉर्म खाती हैं सविता और सुनीता कैंटीन में खाती हैं सविता एंड सुनीता इट इन स्कूल कैफेटेरिया दिस इज अक फीचर इन हिंदी For the verbs of movement such as ana, come, jana, go, pahunchna, arrive, etc., the postposition is usually dropped. Here are some examples. वो स्कूल जाता है. He goes to school. Here in this sentence, the postposition may is dropped. If you say or write the postposition may, it is not incorrect, but there is a very strong tendency of dropping it. मैं तीन बजे घर आता हूँ. I come home at three o'clock. Again, the postposition may is dropped. In Hindi, the subject is also often dropped. The context usually defines the subject. For example, "Three baje ghar aata hu." I come home at three o'clock. Here, the subject "ma" I is not uttered because it's clearly visible with the tense form "aata hu." 